all right guys welcome back to garage vibes today i have a cool vibes i want to show you guys got this set here from traxxas this led light set for the trx4 we're going to put that on the trx4 defender the orange body i'm going to show you how you can do it yourself set this up we're going to put on the rock lights the headlights and the tail lights and we got even a light bar so we're going to hook this up and show you how it goes part number is 8030 all right let's get down inside this lights and show you what's going on so inside this little package right here i'm going to show you everything that comes in it this is your light bar it's got two rows of lights and this set right here is a headlight we got a pair of headlight and a pair of tail light and it comes with a little connector right here two connectors so they all comes pre-wired ready to go all right let's move on now this right here would be a control box to put all the different plugs in there and it comes with your power lead right here and this section right here comes with the rock lights we got one two three four five six seven eight rock lights and it goes in these slots right here i think we got a few more pieces here let me show you what comes in there we got an extension here with some plugs and we got some zip ties and we get a few screws i think the screws is for the, the, the light bar so we're going to use these screws in the light bar it's got this two holes right here i'm going to put it on and uh yeah we're going to hook it up show you how it goes so what we're going to do is remove the screws to remove the fender well so we can get to put the, the lights on the fender well and we're going to also get access to the headlights and um let's tear this down and show you how it goes we got two screws on each side of the wheel well we got another two over here and we get one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna remove those screws. Let's take this down. Two screws are ready out. And we got another one right here for the headlight, but this is not onto the fender well, so we're gonna leave that one for now. We're gonna turn this over and remove these screws here. All right, this is one loose. Get another one right here. There's another one right there. It's going to process to remove all the screws, very fine screws. Okay, so we got a couple screws out. Just this one. Go, got one more. Okay, there we go. So the both pieces is out. This is where the rock lights will be coming, right here. We got one screw, two screw on each side, and they'll let you know which side it is, so you don't get mixed up. Stick a minute here and check the guidebook. They give you a pretty nice layout right here, so you can see how to do it. It's got a pretty cool diagram right here, and um, this will show you exactly how to put the lights, way to run the wires and all that. So if you follow the directions, you would have no headache. Okay, so let's move on. What you want to do, you want to unloose the lights and get a good understanding of it so this is what i'm going to do right here we got five screws that we got to remove on the outer fender now to have a pretty orange body like this and we got no lights on it it's not cool so you know we gotta make it look really cool give it some vibes and this is what we're doing we're gonna light it up all right so now we're gonna disassemble the back fender wells and we got two extra screws here with holding on on the back this here is the body mount for the spear tire and it's got two brace holding on here so we got two extra screws that we gotta remove here so we're gonna remove those screws to take out the back fender well Alright, so the fender well is loose on this side. We gotta remove this side over here now. Six more screws and we out. And you skip one, come to the other one, and there's a screw. Skip this one, come to that one. Okay, so we're gonna easily pull this off. Just like so, and it's out. So we gotta remember how it comes out and how we're gonna put it back in there so we can run the lights exactly how it's supposed to be. So it's like this. Alright guys. I'm about to show you how to hook up the rock lights on the Defender 4 and I'm going to show you how to lay it out so you can do it yourself and get it done in the right way. Okay, so we're going to start from LR324 and this is the back of the Defender. You're going to put one light here like so. You're going to put the other one like so, just like that. Then you're going to keep going around. Now the reason for starting here, you want this plug wire to be right here because this is where this little box, module box will sit down like so. So it's going to sit down right here and um, you're going to put two screws in it to hold it. So you can easily plug this right like this. You're going to put it very fine. So you got to be careful just like that. And we're going to put this box right here. So this is sitting on like that. And then we're going to put the red wire over to the TQ and this little red clip right here onto this one. All right. So let me show you how to run the wires and the lights around the Defender 4. And uh, I'm going to screw them in one time so you can see this. So we have two here. We're going to pop a screw in at one time, same time. I'm not going to waste no time with it. And one of the things you gotta do is remove the fender from the body first. And once you remove the fender, you can rest it on the truck so you can easily see how you can lay down to get it around the truck very easy. 
So everything is just resting down right now. I just rest it over here. Remember the fender wells will go back on the body. So we're going around. You got to remove one of the screws at the back here so you can easily slide the wire underneath here, just like that. Okay. So this one will come just like so. And the other one, just like that. Well, I put some screws in there. So each of the lights takes one screw, so it's not too much of a, you know, headache. Very simple. I think the biggest thing that you got to remember here is how the lights go around the vehicle. So now I remove these two screws to get the light to run underneath the fender. We're going to put back the screw one time. So I put a screw here, another one here. As I go around the vehicle, I make sure that I put back all the screw. I'm dealing with the back fender first. This is what the diagram said to do. I'm just following the directions and I'm moving around the vehicle taking care of everything as I go around. And I'm not pulling the screws too tight, just as the stop is good enough. This fender was a plastic, so you don't want to strip the screws or strip the, the tread in the plastic. All right, so get it nice and snug. There we go. All right. So we finished with the back fender, moving on to the front. So remember I loose one of the screw so I can get the wire underneath. I'm going to put the screw on the bottom to keep it nice and steady. So the wire run underneath away from anything to get it hang up by. So you don't want to get, you know, squeezed by anything or anything, you know, getting hooked up on. So you run it underneath that piece of plastic on the fender well. Okay, so now we're going to continue putting the rock lights in the place. One single screw for each light. We're not tightening too tight. We got last one and the fender wells would be complete with installing the rock lights. Okay, that's it. Rock lights is together. So now I'm going to test this to show you that it worked. So we're going to put some power here. On the XL5, you get that red outlet, red and black here, which is the same here. We're going to plug this in right here. Let's just get some extension on this cord. I'm going to remove this piece of tie and we're going to remove the TQ cover. We're going to plug this and number one right there we already connect the rock lights onto the module box which will sit right here two screws comes in this plastic already for it so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it in there one time the long screw will do the job to hold this module box together here all right perfect i'm going to get a battery and test it so the lights is on as you can see, the rock light come on. There you go, pretty bright. So all four is working. And the reason the light is blinking because the radio is not on. If I turn the radio on, the light will go off. All right, so we turn the radio on. Then we're turning the XO5 and the blinking light is off. That's because the radio was off. So now the radio is on, everything is back together. Okay. So rock lights is in place. So this is how you hook up the system, just like that. And now we're gonna move on to the body of the vehicle. Remove the headlamps and the tail lights. All right, let's move to the next step. All right, guys, so let's continue to remove the headlamps. You got three screws holding on the headlamps. I'm gonna remove those three screws so we can put in some LED headlamps. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to remove the back tail lights. And to remove the back tail lights, it's got one screw only to the back here. Each tail light got one screw right there. Let's pop this up. There we go. It's a little bit tight because of the body mount, this cage mount. It's got a little notch at the back here, so it's a little bit tight. So now we got the headlamps already attached with the head bar. I'm just going to remove it. It comes with these extension plugs, what connect all three together headlamp, light bar, and the tail lights. Okay, so now we're just going to get some extension here. I'm going to take off this tie right here. I'm going to start with the tail lights first. This is the one we're going to fit over here, which is this is the left. So we put in the left side in. Just like that, pretty easy. We can do it with the right. We gotta slide it in first. Gotta sneak it in there. There we go. 
pretty easy. I'm gonna put the screw in one time. Pretty easy process. All right, one light is in. Screw up the other one. There we go, pretty snug. Gotta do the same thing with this one. Back it out a little, tighten them up. There we go. The tail lights are in place now. Pretty neat job. Okay, let's move into the headlights. Easily back it up. There you go. So you remove this piece and you put your light in there. Just like that, screws. Now I'm not pulling all the screws at once. Some individual screws, I'm pulling them till they're all treading so I don't warp anything. And now I can send them all the way down. And I'm not over tightening because this is plastic. You don't want to break this plastic. It's got a white piece of plastic and a black piece. So you want to be careful that you don't crack it. So I'm just going nice and easy. There we go. And now I'm going to move to the other side. Remember, you just could pop it out like so. Just like that. Get something very thin. Push it in the back and just easily back it out. There we go. That's it guys. Okay, so that's it. Now we're gonna put the wires together. Easily roll the wires at the bottom here. Make sure this clips. It's got a place to zip tight. We're gonna zip tight. But first of all, we're gonna double check, make sure everything is working. Okay, so headlights is together. There you go. Think we need that anymore two lights together okay let's put some power onto it and see how it goes all right let's give it some power see how we do yeah we got lights guys there goes your lights all right we're looking good so now we're going to hook up the wheel well on the body and we're going to show you the whole works we got to run this light bar right here we're going to have to poke a nice little hole it's going to go like so going to put some screws here to hold this down then we're going to poke a nice little hole right there to send these two wires inside of the body so they can get connected we got our little jumble right here that we can just send a hole in there okay all right we're going to go ahead and poke a hole right in the edge of the defender body want to get that nice and snug right there so we don't create too much crazy hole so we can take that hole from the bottom we want to do it wide enough so the plug can pass through let's see how we do we need a little wider hole so we can get this through just a little bit more okay that looked like it there we go so now we're gonna bolt up the head bar we've got two screws come in the package Okay, there we go. You plug the headlights on that little extension on the light bar. Let's turn it on. There we go. We got a switch at the back here. It's got this little switch. What can dim it and bright it? There we go. Dim, bright. Dim, bright. So we got all the lights in place. Now we're gonna move on and hook up the wheel well on the body. All right guys, so time to hook up the fender well and all lights is in place, ready to rock. Let's put these wires together. Fender well, sit down easy like so. And I'm gonna put this one just like that, easy like that. So we're gonna hook up the fender wells and then we're gonna put the wires in place. We got some little tabs at the back here. We're gonna put some zip ties and um, get everything on the road. Okay, so now we got two screws that we removed from the back fender wells here, which is a brace holding it up. So we're gonna put the screws back here, just like that, just like so. Okay, two screws down. Now we gotta get the fender fully on the outside, back in place. So we just gotta get the screws lined up in the hole. Just gotta get one screw in and then the rest will fall in place. That's it, so what I'm gonna do right here is just get all the screws back in place. I'm just gonna tap them in and then we're gonna flip it over and tighten it all the way. All right, let's flip this around to the other side. Get the back fenders together, get the show on the road. All right, so all the wheel wells back in place. Now we get a 
take care of these wires hanging loose. So we're gonna put some zip ties and um, get it together. Now, when you're connecting the extension from the light bar, there's a single blue wire would run from the extension and run from the headlights. Those two have to connect together. Just a single blue wire. And the others is black and blue. And this is your connector here. Just connect them there. And the wheel wheel lights will come on, on this extra connector right here. Just like so. Just like that. Okay, so now all we gotta do, put some zip ties and finish up this belt. Just gonna put a piece of tape to hold along the rest of the wires. Just like that. Keep the wires lay flat. All right, job complete. That's it guys. I'm just gonna wrap this up so you don't get pulled apart. Okay, okay. Get the light system, so I'm gonna plug the light in. There we go, cool. So, I'm gonna put one of the tires at the back here, okay? So, we're looking good and got our headlights. All right, guys, we appreciate you hanging out with us for this light install. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't already do so, and we'll see you on the next video. We out.